Today, we're going to be talking about the much-anticipated SpaceX Lunar Starship and whether it will be ready in time for the Artemis 3 mission. Elon Musk has been making some big promises about the Lunar Starship, claiming that it will be capable of carrying humans to the Moon and even Mars. But with Artemis 3 scheduled for 2025, many are skeptical about whether SpaceX can deliver on their ambitious timeline. There's no denying that the development of the Lunar Starship has faced numerous setbacks and challenges. From engine testing mishaps to design revisions, the road to getting this spacecraft flight ready has been anything but smooth. However, SpaceX has a track record of pushing the boundaries and achieving the seemingly impossible. With their innovative approach and rapid iteration process, they just might have a shot at getting the Lunar Starship ready for Artemis 3. But the clock is ticking, and the pressure is on. NASA is counting on SpaceX to deliver a reliable and capable spacecraft for the Artemis missions, and the eyes of the world are watching to see if they can pull it off. What do you think? Will SpaceX's Lunar Starship be ready in time for Artemis 3, or will they need to push back the timeline once again? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Stay tuned as we dive into this problem and more in today's episode. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of my channel. Sword. NASA has recently announced a substantial alteration to its lunar exploration agenda, no lunar starship landing. Yesterday, the GAO, also known as the U.S. Government Accountability Office, released a 47-page report highlighting some of the major concerns regarding the plan to return humans to the moon. One area in particular that the report focused on was the Starship human landing system and large amount of work that SpaceX still needs to complete. There are concerns that Starship development in conjunction with a handful of other projects will delay the 2025 landing date by at least a few years. On the other hand, the report also gave new insight into the progress of a lunar starship and the large amount of work that has already been completed. Here we'll go more in depth into what this report says, the state of a lunar starship, some of the biggest upcoming challenges, and more. At the very start of the report, the GAO goes over some of the initial concerns and problems with this mission's plan and timeline in relation to Starship. Here they are quoted saying, the Human Landing System program is aiming to complete its development from Project Star. To launch in 79 months, which is 13 months shorter than the average for NASA major projects. They go on to highlight that this shorter time frame, expected of the company, is not realistic and especially not when you consider that it's a human spaceflight mission. They then said, GAO found that if development took as long as the average for NASA major projects, the Artemis 3 mission would likely occur in early 2027. In other words, the only reason a 2025 landing was even in the picture was because of a significantly accelerated timeline. They then go and decide various delays that the Starship program has endured, including the Human Landing System program, delaying 8 of 13 key events by at least 6 months. The GAO points out that some of these setbacks were caused by the large delay between the first and second orbital flight test. Finally, the last and arguably most important concern brought up by the agency was all the development and testing necessary for propellant transfer. Here they said, a critical aspect of SpaceX's plan for landing astronauts on the moon for Artemis 3 is launching multiple tankers that will transfer propellant to a depot in space before transferring that propellant to the human landing system. NASA documentation states that SpaceX has made limited progress maturing the technologies needed to support this aspect of its plan, they said. That last comment is a bit concerning and helps put in perspective the amount of work SpaceX still needs to complete. Looking deeper into the report, they go much more in depth into what SpaceX still needs to complete before they can land on the moon. One example includes Raptor engine development. In the future, the Raptor engine will be used both on the booster and even the upper state's lunar lander as well. While SpaceX is very confident in this engine and the recent orbital flight test showcased its progress, the GAO has a few concerns. They are quoted saying, however, the HLS program office identified engine development as a top risk to the program. SpaceX representatives said that their design for the Raptor engine falls in iterative approach and as of September 2023, SpaceX had assembled and tested hundreds of engines. In a February 2023 interview, HLS officials said that if the Raptor engine operates below performance levels needed to meet mission requirements, thereby delaying engine certification, then it's possible that the new main engine for the human landing system will not be ready to support the planned mission in December 2025, they said. With this being said, of the possible delays listed, the Raptor engines in its development will likely not be a limiting factor. Finally, they went more in-depth into the propellant transfer and what the future looks like. 
there are multiple key systems related to the propellant transfer capability that SpaceX plans to develop for the human landing system. Those systems include docking sensors and mechanisms to identify, locate, and then physically align the HLS Starship and the Tanker Starship for fluid transfer, propellant measurement. To gauge the amount of propellant in the tanks and how much was transferred and storage capability to mitigate fuel loss in space. In another quote they commented, SpaceX plans to conduct the in-space propellant storage and transfer test to further mature the technology, but the timing of this test is dependent on successful completion of preceding flights. SpaceX representatives said that the fundamental propellant transfer technology is not new or unique but requires engineering time and development effort to fully design and test for eventual use in the Artemis 3 mission. If the docking hardware does not perform as expected during spaceflight testing, significant vehicle modifications may be required, which could delay the mission. HLS officials said that SpaceX must demonstrate these technologies prior to completing the critical design review to promote confidence in the mission concept of operations, they said. This area, no doubt, will be one of the biggest developmental challenges in a very time-consuming process. It will primarily depend on how fast SpaceX can get starships consistently to orbit and begin testing the six-act process, something we can expect to hear much more about in the near future. Well, there were a lot of concerns about Starship in this report and whether or not it will be ready in time. There was also some positive information. Here the report is quoted saying, SpaceX and NASA continue to make progress on the human landing system, including completing some work early. SpaceX representatives reported completing 20 interim Hills milestones since June 2022 to mature the human landing system design and reduce development risk. NASA officials stated SpaceX submitted deliverables early for approximately 74% of the Artemis III contract payment milestones that have been completed. This is all good news and highlights and while there is a lot of work left, SpaceX has been busy and has absolutely made progress. As far as what we can expect in the coming months, the HLS program in SpaceX delayed 8 out of 13 key events by between 6 and 13 months. We now know that of those delayed events, at least two will occur in 2025. The early Artemis 3 mission is scheduled to take place. In addition, partially as a result of these delays, SpaceX plans to complete eight key events between November 2023 and the planned date of the Artemis 3 mission. However, they point out that because of delays to several key events, NASA will have a relatively short amount of time to ensure that the HLS complies with human spaceflight safety requirements before the mission start. For example, NASA delayed the HLS design certification review, which is now closer to the Artemis III mission than originally planned. At this review, NASA will ensure that design complies with requirements and human spaceflight certification. According to NASA documentation, this milestone should be completed nine months prior to launch. This new report joins a host of concerns that were expressed by NASA officials not long ago. Earlier this year, speaking at a joint meeting of the National Academies, Aeronautics and Space Engineering Board and Space Studies Board, Jim Free, NASA Associate Administrator for Exploration Systems Development, said Artemis III was in danger of being delayed from December 2025 to sometime in 2026. He went on to clarify that SpaceX and the Starship HLS system in particular was what he was worried about. Specifically, he pointed out the number of Starship launches that SpaceX has to carry out to be ready for Artemis III. Each Starship lander mission requires launching the Starship lander itself as well as several tanker Starships to fuel the lander in Earth orbit before it goes to the moon. That's a lot of launches to get those missions done, Free said. They have a significant number of launches to go, and that, of course, gives him a concern about the December 2025 date for Artemis III. He continued by saying, with the difficulties that SpaceX has had, I think that's really concerning. You can think about that slipping probably into 26, he said. Even more recently, speaking at an August 8 briefing at the Kennedy Space Center, he talked about the possibility of changing the Artemis III mission plan depending on what's ready. We may end up flying a different mission if that's the case, he said. If we have these big slips out, we've looked at if we can do other missions. Artemis 3 could also change based on the outcome of Artemis 2, he added. He finished by saying, when we come up with the date, December 2025, or whatever the date might be, we want to have confidence for our teams that we will have a realistic path to get there. These comments make it clear that some NASA officials are not too confident in SpaceX. 
At the same time, however, other critical mission aspects like SLS, Orion, ground systems, etc. each did a lot of work in a successful Artemis II launch if they want to stay on track. Even this new report goes over a long list of concerns regarding Axiom spacesuit, which needs to be ready for Artemis III. The GAO just released a long report going over possible delays for the Artemis III mission, and specifically landing humans on the moon. An area of focus is the Starship human landing system, which still has a decent bit of work left. We will have to wait and see how it progresses, and the impact it has on the space industry. But that lunar stroll isn't happening anytime soon. And could be delayed even longer. Speaking at an August 8th briefing at the Kennedy Space Center, Jim Free, NASA's Associate Minister for Exploration Systems Development, said the Artemis III mission still has a formal launch date of December 2025, but that he was monitoring potential delays and hardware needed for said mission. Mr. Free didn't discuss the specific triggers that could initiate changes to Artemis III. Back in June, they'd also expressed concerns about the somewhat delayed debut of Starship and worries about the operational aspects of the lunar lander, the tankers to be employed for in-orbit fueling, the successful lunar landing of Starship, and the transfer of cryogenic propellant to orbit. However, they also have contingency plans for every possible scenario. If there are delays with Starship, they'll have equivalent missions prepared as potential replacements. Particularly, the essence of Artemis III could be influenced by the outcomes and progress of Artemis II. Indeed, SpaceX's version of Starship under the contract with NASA is responsible for lunar orbit and transferring astronauts from the Orion spacecraft NTO the lunar surface and back. To carry out this process, NASA has to ensure the success of their expensive SLS rocket and the proper functioning of the Orion capsule. However, at the moment, the progress of the Artemis II mission is also not very promising. The Orion capsule hasn't been fully finalized yet and investigations into its heat shield could possibly delay the lunar journey. Furthermore, the assembly of SLS has also been delayed. Due to unspecified issues with its downcomers, this tells us that the project doesn't appear to be ready for NASA's Artemis II launch schedule. If even Artemis II isn't on that correct timeline, then whether the Orion spacecraft and the SLS rocket will be ready in time for Artemis III remains uncertain. As for SpaceX, they also have a lot to do before they can meet the requirements of the Artemis III mission. And that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in and that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. And if you want to support our channel and if you want to be up to date, you can become an exclusive member. So click on our perks through the link in the description below. Thanks to watching and see you next time. By the way, are you familiar Talk Talk Philippines app? Talk Talk is a delivery service app designed to connect more people by delivering items door to door. For more information, download the Talk Talk app here down below.